Have you ever felt the weight of the world pressing down on you? As if your dreams were just beyond reach. Picture a young woman named Sarah standing at the edge of a cliff, gazing out at the vast ocean before her. The wind whips around her, tugging at her clothes, urging her to take flight. But Sarah remains rooted to the spot, paralyzed by fear and doubt. How many of us have stood at our own metaphorical cliffs, yearning to soar, but held back by invisible chains? The truth is, we all possess an extraordinary power within us, a power that can shatter those chains and propel us towards our wildest aspirations. This power, my friends, is the very essence of our being, the infinite potential that resides in our consciousness. Sarah's story is not unique. It mirrors the struggles we all face in our journey through life. But what if I told you that the limitations you perceive are merely illusions created by your own mind? that the barriers you see before you are nothing more than shadows cast by your own thoughts. The nature of reality is far more malleable than we've been led to believe. Our world, in all its intricate complexity, is a reflection of our inner state. Every thought, every belief, every assumption we hold shapes the fabric of our existence. This is not mere philosophy. It is a fundamental truth that has been demonstrated time and time again by those who have dared to test its limits. Consider for a moment, the last time you achieved something you once thought impossible, perhaps it was landing your dream job, overcoming a fear, or mastering a new skill. In those moments of triumph, did you not feel as if the universe itself had conspired to support your success? That feeling... That alignment between your inner world and outer reality is no coincidence. It is the law of assumption at work. The law of assumption states that our outer world must and will reflect our inner assumptions. If we assume failure, we will find evidence of failure at every turn. But if we assume success, the world rearranges itself to match our expectations. It's a simple principle, yet profoundly powerful when understood and applied consciously. Sarah, standing on that cliff, had a choice to make. She could continue to assume her limitations, to believe in her inability to overcome her fears. Or she could choose a new assumption, one of courage, capability, and unlimited potential. The decision she made in that moment would determine not just her immediate future, but the entire trajectory of her life. As she stood there, heart racing, Sarah closed her eyes and took a deep breath. In her mind's eye, she saw herself not as she was, but as she wished to be. Confident, fearless, soaring through life with grace and ease. She held that image, feeling the exhilaration of freedom, the joy of self-assurance. And as she opened her eyes, something had shifted. The world looked different, brighter somehow, full of possibility. This is the power that resides within each of us, the power to reshape our reality through the alchemy of our consciousness. But how do we access this power? How do we harness it to create the life we truly desire? The key lies in understanding that your consciousness is not separate from the world around you. It is the very substance from which your world is formed. Every experience, every person, every circumstance in your life is a reflection of your state of consciousness. When you change your inner world, your outer world must change in response. This may seem like a daunting responsibility. After all, if we create our reality, doesn't that mean we're to blame for our misfortunes? But this perspective misses the point entirely. The law of assumption is not about blame or guilt. It's about recognizing that if you have the power to create your current circumstances, you also have the power to create something new. Think of it this way. If you were given a magical paintbrush that could create anything you could imagine, would you waste time painting scenes of lack, limitation, or failure? Of course not. You would paint grand vistas of success, love. Your consciousness is the magical paintbrush and your assumptions are the colors you choose. But here's the catch. This paintbrush is always active, 
always creating whether you're conscious of it or not. Every assumption you hold, whether positive or negative, is being brought to life in your experience. This is why it's crucial to become aware of your habitual thoughts and assumptions. They are the invisible architects of your life. Sarah, in her moment of transformation on the cliff, made a fundamental shift in her assumptions. She stopped seeing herself as a victim of circumstance and began to see herself as the author of her own story. This shift didn't immediately erase all her fears or challenges, but it gave her a new perspective from which to face them. As she began to live from this new assumption of capability and potential, she noticed small changes at first, a new confidence in her interactions with others, a willingness to take on challenges she would have previously avoided. And as these small victories accumulated, her faith in her own power grew stronger. This is how the law of assumption works. It's not about forcing change through sheer willpower. It's about aligning your inner state with your desires and then allowing the outer world to rearrange itself accordingly. It's a subtle art, but one that becomes more natural with practice. Now, you might be thinking this all sounds well and good, but how do I actually apply this in my life? The answer lies in the power of your imagination. Your imagination is the workshop where you craft your assumptions, where you paint the picture of the life you wish to live. Imagine for a moment that you are holding a seed in your hand. This seed contains within it the full potential of a mighty oak tree. All it needs to grow is the right condition. So soil, water, sunlight, your desires are like that seed, containing within them the full potential of their realization. Your imagination provides the fertile soil in which these seeds can take root and grow. When you use your imagination to vividly experience your desired reality, you are creating those ideal conditions for manifestation. You're not just thinking about what you want. You're experiencing it as if it were already true. This is the key difference between mere wishful thinking and true assumption. Sarah, in her transformative moment, didn't just think about being confident and capable. She felt it, experienced it, lived it in her imagination. And in doing so, she planted the seed of that new reality in the fertile soil of her consciousness. As you begin to harness the power of your imagination, you may encounter resistance. Old habits of thought, ingrained beliefs about what's possible or impossible may try to reassert themselves. This is natural. Remember, you're not just changing your thoughts. You're rewiring your entire way of being in the world. The key is persistence. Just as a bodybuilder must consistently work out to build and maintain muscle, you must consistently exercise your imagination to strengthen your ability to assume new states of being. Each time you catch yourself falling into old patterns of thought, gently guide your mind back to your desired state. This practice of persistent assumption is not about forcing or struggling. It's about relaxing into a new way of being. It's about choosing again and again to align your inner state with your desires, regardless of what your current circumstances might suggest. As you do this, you begin to notice changes in your outer world. At first, they may be subtle. A chance encounter, an unexpected opportunity a sudden insight. But as you maintain your new assumption, these changes will become more pronounced, more aligned with your desires. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. It always has. You're not a victim of circumstance, but the creator of your reality. Every moment is an opportunity to choose a new, to paint a different picture with the brush. Sarah's story didn't end on that cliff. It was just the beginning. As she walked away from the edge, she carried with her a new understanding of her own power. She faced challenges, certainly, but she faced them with a newfound confidence. A deep knowing that she had within her everything she needed to overcome them. And so do you. As we continue to explore the depths of your inner power, remember that every step you take towards assuming your desired reality is a step towards its manifestation. 
Trust in the process. Have faith in your own infinite potential and watch as the world transforms before your eyes. The journey of self-discovery and manifestation is ongoing. It's a path that unfolds before you with each step you take. As we move forward, we'll delve deeper into the practical techniques you can use to master your inner world and bring your desires into vivid, tangible reality. The power is yours. The choice is yours. What reality would you choose to assume? As we continue our exploration of the power within, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of a new understanding. The journey that began with Sarah's transformation on the cliff now leads us to the very core of our being, our inner world. This is where the real magic happens, where the seeds of our desires take root and grow into the towering oaks of our reality. Hit it for a moment. The last time you were completely absorbed in a daydream, perhaps you were imagining yourself in your dream job or visualizing a perfect vacation. In those moments, didn't you feel a sense of joy, of possibility? That feeling, my friends, is the key to mastering your inner world. Your imagination is not just a frivolous pastime or a means of escape. It is the most powerful tool you possess for shaping your reality. When you engage your imagination fully, you are literally rewiring your brain, creating new neural pathways that align with your desired experiences. This is not mere fantasy. It is the very foundation of your future reality. But how do we harness this power effectively? How do we move beyond casual daydreaming to truly mastering our inner world? The answer lies in the art of visualization. Visualization is more than just seeing images in your mind. It's about engaging all your senses to create a vivid, immersive experience of your desired reality. When you visualize effectively, you're not just watching a movie in your mind. You're stepping into that movie and becoming the star. Let's practice this together right now. Close your eyes for a moment and think of a goal you have, something you deeply desire to achieve or experience. Now, instead of just thinking about it, I want you to see yourself having already achieved this goal. But what does it look like? What sounds do you hear? What sins are in the air? How does it feel emotionally and physically to realize this dream? As you engage in this exercise, you may notice a shift in your body. Perhaps your breathing becomes more relaxed or you feel a surge of excitement. These physical responses are signs that your body and mind are beginning to align with your vision. This alignment is crucial because your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between vividly imagined experiences and real ones. To your subconscious, the scene you just created is as real as anything you've actually experienced. This is why effective visualization is so powerful. When you consistently immerse yourself in the experience of your desired reality, you're training your subconscious mind to accept this new reality as truth. And once your subconscious accepts something as true, it goes to work, making it your actual experience. Think back to Sarah McCliff. Her transformation began when she closed her eyes and vividly imagined herself as confident and capable. In that moment, she wasn't just thinking about being different. She was experiencing it. And that experience, brief as it was, began to reshape. Now, you might be thinking, but I have tried visualization before. And it didn't work. If this thought has crossed your mind, you're not alone. Many people try visualization techniques with mixed results. The key difference between those who succeed and those who struggle often comes down to two factors. Consistency and emotional. Consistency is crucial because rewind your brain takes time. Just as you wouldn't expect to get in shape by going to the gym once. You can't expect to transform your reality with a single visualization session. It's the repeated practice, the daily reinforcement of your desired state. The emotional engagement is equally important. Your emotions are the fuel that powers your manifestations. When you combine vivid imagery with genuine positive emotion, you create a potent force for change. This is why it's so important to choose visualizations. 
that truly excite and inspire you. If your goal doesn't light you up emotionally, it may be time to dig deeper and find what truly resonates with your heart's desires. As you begin to practice visualization, consistently you may encounter obstacles. One of the most common is doubt. That little voice in your head that says, this can't possibly work, or who do you think you would want this? These doubts are not your enemies. They're simply old thought patterns rising to the surface to be acknowledged and released. When doubts arise, don't fight them. Instead, observe them with curiosity. Where do these thoughts come from? Are they truly yours? Or are they beliefs you've inherited from others? Often, simply shining the light of awareness on these doubts is enough to diminish their power. Remember, doubts are just thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. Each time you choose to return to your visualization, despite your doubts, you're strengthening your ability to assume your desired state of being. You're proving to yourself that you have the power to choose your focus, regardless of circumstances. Fear is another common obstacle in mastering your inner world. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown, all these can hold you back from fully embracing your power. But here's a secret. Fear is often a sign that you're on the right track. It means you're pushing beyond your comfort zone, stretching into new possibilities. Instead of trying to eliminate fear, learn to see it as excitement in disguise. The physical sensations of fear and excitement are remarkably similar. The next time you feel fear arising as you visualize your goals, try to say to yourself, I'm not afraid. I'm excited about the possibilities unfolding before me. This reframing is not just a mental trick. It's a powerful way to shift your energy and align yourself with your desires. When you approach your visualizations with excitement rather than fear, you open yourself to inspired action and synchronistic opportunities. As you continue to practice visualization and work through doubts and fears, you'll likely begin to notice changes in your outer world. These changes might start small, a compliment from a stranger that aligns with your new self-image, or a sudden idea that moves you closer to your goal. Pay attention to these signs. They're confirmation that your inner work is having an effect. However, it's important not to become too attached to specific outcomes or timelines. The universe often has ways of bringing our desires to us that we couldn't have imagined. Stay focused on the feeling of your desired state and remain open to how it might manifest. This brings us to another crucial aspect of mastering your inner world. The practice of living from the end result. This means adopting the thoughts, feelings, and behaviors of someone who has already achieved your goal. It's about embodying your desired state in the here and now rather for example if your goal is to become financially abundant how would a financially abundant person think and act how would they carry themselves what decisions would they make by assuming these qualities now you align yourself with the reality of abundance making its manifestation in your life a natural progression rather than a desperate struggle living from the end result requires a shift in perspective. Instead of seeing your goal as something to be achieved, you recognize it as a state of being to be assumed. This shift is subtle but profound. It moves you from a place of lack and wanting to a place of abundance. Gratitude, in fact, is one of the most powerful tools you have for mastering your inner world. When you cultivate genuine gratitude for what you already have, you create a vibrational match for more good to come into your life. It's a paradox. The more grateful you are for what you have, the more you'll find to be grateful for. Try at the end of each day. Before you go to sleep, spend a few minutes in a state of gratitude. Feel thankful not just for what you have, but for what's coming. Feel the gratitude of your future self who has already achieved your dreams. This practice not only ends your day on a positive note, but also programs your subconscious to seek out more reasons for gratitude while you sleep. As you master these techniques, visualization, overcoming doubts and fears, living from the end result, and cultivating gratitude, 
you'll find that your inner world becomes a place of limitless possibility. The barriers between what you can imagine and what you can achieve. Remember, Sarah, as she continued to practice these techniques, her life began to transform in ways she never thought possible. The confidence she first imagined on that cliff became her natural state of being. Opportunities that once seemed out of reach began to appear, as if by magic. But it wasn't magic. It was the natural result of her inner work. You have the same power within you. Every time you choose to focus on what you can do rather than what you can't, every time you immerse yourself in the feeling of your desired reality, you are shaping your world from the inside out. The mastery of your inner world is an ongoing journey. It's not about reaching a final destination, but about continually expanding your understanding of what's possible as you grow and evolve. So too, will your dreams and desires embrace this process. Let each achievement be a stepping stone to even greater possibilities. As we move forward, we'll explore how to take this inner mastery and translate it into tangible results in your outer world. We'll look at the art of persistent assumption and the delicate balance of action and surrender. The journey continues. And with each step, you're claiming more of your innate power to create the life you desire. Remember, the world within creates the world without. Your inner state is the foundation upon which your entire life is built. By mastering your inner world, you become the conscious creator of your reality. The power is yours. The choice is yours. What magnificent reality will you choose to create? The power of your inner world, once harnessed, becomes the catalyst for transforming your outer reality. As we've explored the art of visualization and the mastery of your inner realm, we now stand at the threshold of bringing your desires into tangible form. This is where the rubber meets the road, where the seeds planted in your imagination begin to sprout in the garden of your physical experience. What does it truly mean to manifest your desires? It's more than simply wishing for something and waiting for it to appear. Manifestation is an active process, a dance between your inner state and the outer world. It's about aligning your thoughts, feeling, and actions with the reality you wish to create. What is your deepest desire? What is that one thing that, if you achieved it, would transform your life completely? Hold that thought. Because we're about to explore how to bring that desire into vivid, tangible reality. The art of manifestation begins with a crucial living from the end result. This means mentally and emotionally inhabiting the state of having already achieved your desire. It's not about pretending or fooling yourself. It's about shifting your consciousness to align with your desired reality. Think back to Sarah. Standing on that cliff, her transformation began when she stopped seeing herself as limited and began to embody the confidence and capability she desired. She didn't wait until she felt confident to act confidently. She assumed the state of confidence and her reality began to shift accordingly. This principle applies to any desire you hold. If your goal is to become financially abundant, you must begin to think, feel, and act as if you are already abundant. If your desire is to find a loving relationship, you must embody the love and wholeness you seek. This isn't about denying your current circumstances, but about choosing where to place your mental and emotional focus. Living from the end result requires a shift in perspective. Instead of constantly striving towards your goal, you recognize that in consciousness you already possess it. Your task then becomes allowing that inner reality to manifest in your outer world. This shift can feel challenging at first. Your senses may tell you one story while you're choosing to live from a different reality. This is where the power of persistent assumption comes into play. Persistent assumption is the practice of consistently returning to your desired state, regardless of external circumstances. Imagine you're learning to play a musical instrument at first, your fingers fumble, and the sounds you produce are far from melodious. 
But with persistent practice, your muscles develop memory, your ear attunes, and eventually you create beautiful music. The same principle applies to manifesting your desires. With persistent assumption of your desired state, you're retraining your mind and emotions to align with your goal. This persistence doesn't mean forcing or struggling. It's more like gently guiding a boat back to its course. When the winds push it off track, each time you notice yourself slipping into old patterns of thought or feeling, simply redirect your focus back to your desired state. This redirection becomes easier and more natural with practice. As you persistently assume your desired state, you may encounter what seems like evidence of the contrary in your external world. This is where many people falter in their manifestation efforts. They see circumstances that don't align with their desire and conclude that their efforts aren't working. But this misaligns with the true nature of manifestation. Remember, your outer world is a reflection of your inner state. But it often lags behind. Just as it takes time for a seed to sprout and grow into a plant, it takes time for your assumed state to fully manifest in your reality. The key is to maintain your assumption despite apparent contradictions in your environment. This doesn't mean ignoring your current reality or denying challenges. Instead, it means interpreting your experiences through the lens of your desired state. If you're manifesting financial abundance and you encounter an unexpected expense, instead of seeing it as a setback, you might choose to see it as an opportunity for money to flow through your life. This perspective shift is crucial because your interpretation of events shapes your emotional state, and your emotional state is the fuel for your manifestations. When you maintain a positive emotional state aligned with your desire, you become a magnet for experiences that match that state. Let me wonder, if I'm living from the end, result in persistently assuming my desire, do I still, I still need to take action in the physical world? The answer is a resounding yes, but with an important caveat. The actions you take should flow naturally from your assumed state rather than from a place of lack or desperation. When you're truly living from the end result, inspired actions will arise naturally. You'll find yourself noticing opportunities you might have overlooked before. You'll feel drawn to take steps that align with your goal. These inspired actions often feel effortless, even joyful. This is where many traditional goal-setting approaches fall short. They focus on pushing and striving, on taking action from a place of not having. But when you act from the assumption of already possessing your desire, your actions become more effective and often yield surprising results. For instance, if you're manifesting a new career, instead of desperately sending out hundreds of resumes, you might feel inspired to attend a networking event where you make a crucial connection. Or you might suddenly have an idea for a unique way to sh showcase your skills that sets you apart from other candidates. These inspired actions arise from your alignment with your desire, not from fear or lack. As you take these inspired actions, it's important to maintain an attitude of detachment from the outcome. This might seem counterintuitive. After all, don't you want to be focused on your goal? But detachment does mean not caring about your desire. It means trusting in the process and releasing the need to control every day. Detachment allows you to remain open to possibilities you might not have considered. Often, the universe has ways of bringing our desires to us that are far more elegant and efficient than anything we could have planned. So by staying detached, you allow room for these miraculous alignments to occur. This detachment goes hand in hand with cultivating an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most powerful forces for manifestation because it aligns you vibrationally with receiving. When you're truly grateful, you're in a state of abundance and appreciation, which attracts more experiences to be grateful for. Tact is feeling grateful not just for what you already have, but for what's coming. Feel the gratitude of your future self who's already received your desire. This puts you in energetic alignment with your goal and accelerates its manifestation. As you engage in this process 
of living from the end, taking inspired action, and cultivating gratitude, you may begin to notice synchronicities occurring in your life. These are seemingly coincidental events that align perfectly with your desire. You might overhear a conversation that gives you a crucial piece of information. Or you might randomly encounter someone who can help you achieve your goal. These synchronicities are signs that you're in alignment with your desire. They're confirmation that the universe is responding to your new vibration. When you notice these signs, acknowledge them with gratitude. This acknowledgement reinforces your alignment and often leads to more success. Now, it's important to address a common misconception about manifestations. Some people believe that if they're doing it right, their desire will manifest instantly and effortlessly. While this can happen, it's not the norm. Manifestation often unfolds as a process. With each step build, think of it like planting a garden. You don't plant a seed one day and expect to see a fully grown plant the next. There's a natural gestation period during which the seed sprouts, grows roots, and eventually breaks through the soil. Your manifestations often follow a similar pattern. During this gestation period, it's crucial to maintain your faith and continue living from the end result. This is where many people give up, thinking their efforts aren't working. But often, just when it seems like nothing is happening, you're on the verge of a breakthrough. Remember, Sarah? After her moment of transformation on the cliff, she didn't immediately find all her fears vanquished. But she persisted in her new assumption of confidence and capability. She took inspired her actions, maintained an attitude of gratitude, and stayed detached from the specific way her desire would manifest. Over time, she noticed small changes. She found herself speaking up more in meetings at work. She started taking on challenges she would have previously avoided. These small shifts built upon each other, creating a momentum of positive change in her life. Then one day, seemingly out of nowhere, a major opportunity presented itself. One that aligned perfectly with her newfound confidence and skills. But this opportunity wasn't really out of nowhere. It was the natural result of her inner work, her persistent assumption, and her inspired actions. Your journey of manifestation may follow a similar path as you persist in assuming your desired state. You'll likely experience a series of small shifts and synchronicities before your big breakthrough occurs. Each of these small shifts is valuable, not just as a step towards your goal, but as confirmation that your inner work is having an effect. As you continue on this journey of manifestation, remember to be kind to yourself. There may be days when it's challenging to maintain your assumption or when doubts creep in. This is normal and human. When this happens, gently guide yourself back to your desired state without judgment. Also, be open to your desires evolving as you grow. As you begin to manifest changes in your life, you may find that what you truly want shifts. This is a natural part of the process. Allow yourself the freedom to adjust your goals as you gain new insights and experiences. Manifestation is not about forcing the world to bend to your will. It's about aligning yourself with the infinite possibilities that already exist in the universe. It's about recognizing that you are not separate from the world around you, but an integral part of it, with the power to shape your experience through your consciousness. As we conclude this exploration of manifesting your desires, remember that this process is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Each step you take in assuming your desired state, each inspired action, each moment of gratitude, these are all valuable in themselves, regardless of the outcome. You have within you the power to create the life you desire. This power has always been there, waiting for you to recognize and claim it. By focusing on what you can do by persistently assuming the state of your wish fulfilled, and by aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires, you set in motion forces that can transform your reality in ways you might never have imagined. The journey of manifestation is ongoing. 
Each desire fulfilled opens the door to new possibilities, new growth, new desires. Embrace this journey with joy and excitement, knowing that you are constantly expanding, constantly creating, constantly manifesting your highest vision for your life. Remember the power is within you. The choice is yours. What magnificent reality will you choose to manifest? The world awaits your creation.